Welcome to the Yolanda Simmons Moore Show, where knowledge is power. When Sir Francis Bacon said the words, knowledge is power, he spoke the truth, because knowledge is the force used to cut down on the, oops, I made a mistake, and the, if I had known syndrome. As you know, or may not know, the sound of a rooster crowing early in the morning represents the beginning of a new day which means don't go backwards and try to undo or change the things you have no control or power over. But use your new day as an opportunity to learn something that will assist, aid, or contribute to your moving forward in a positive and unique way. You got to be more vigilant in receiving knowledge, which will give you the power to use your mistakes only as stepping stones as you walk the journey of life. Think about it. We all have made mistakes because it's easy to talk negative, to hang with negative people, and to do negative things, which is followed by negative attention and reaction. However, you must see your mistakes and your negativity as a part of your past, which are powerful lessons learned as you advance towards your future. So use that power knowing that it comes with ability, competence, strength, authority, and drive, which will make you different in a positive and unique way. Knowledge is only powerful if you apply it. Therefore, here are some words of knowledge. Knowledge for you. Set short and long-term goals that are reachable. Write them down, read them often, and strive to accomplish every one of them. Always demand respect. Always think highly of yourself, because if you don't, no one else will. Knowledge for wisdom. Live according to your budget and not someone else's. When faced or placed in a difficult situation, take a deep breath and count to 10. Overreacting can make the situation worse. When things happen beyond your control, do not expect people to feel sorry for you and join you in a pity party. Instead, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and take control of the situation and use it as a learning tool so it won't happen again. Don't let your past affect your future. Move forward. But before you start moving forward, you need to know the only way you cannot allow your past to affect your future is to forgive yourself for what you've done in the past. Trying to move forward with the weight of yesterday's mistakes is like trying to travel up a hill with 20 pound weights around your ankles. It's harder, it's a slower pace, and it can be a deterrent which can make you want to give up and stay in the same situation and not do anything towards moving forward. Also, if you are moving forward and someone wants to always bring up your past, you may want to re-examine the relationship. Don't be a revolving door for anyone. Once you take someone off the front seat in your life, don't go back and allow them to sit there again. Never let your tongue get out of control. Remember, you cannot take anything back once it has been said. It's just like the world wide web. Once it's out there, you cannot take it back. Believe it or not, you are naturally beautiful. Adding colorful tattoos to your body sometimes take away that beauty. Beauty starts in the mind. If you have a positive attitude about yourself and life in general, it will show in the way you walk, talk, think, and even in the way you dress. Warning signs for abusive relationships. Never being able to give your own opinion always having to explain, always apologizing even when it's not your fault, never knowing what the plans are, 
until the last minute. Not being able to make your own decisions. When you start a relationship, you should want to meet someone who is at least on your level in life or if not above. You must set a standard of what you will and will not accept in a relationship. On marriage, strive to please your husband and likewise, he should strive to please you. This type of behavior constitutes a strong marriage. Never argue with your husband in front of your children, family or friends. If you have to express yourself, let it be done in private. If you cannot get to a private area, consider it's for the best. And inhale, exhale, swallow, smile, and try to maintain a peaceful and pleasant attitude in spite of the situation. Think about it. To say or do anything else will reflect on you as being a wife who belittles, disrespects, and degrades her husband. Be mindful that jobs are no longer secure as they once were. Therefore, use every paycheck wisely as if it's your last one. Don't let your bills get behind because catching up can be costly. When walking in the parking garage, try not to use your cell phone. If you are on the phone, let it be used as a safety device with someone on the other end who will know where and what you are doing at all times. Holding a conversation about anything else makes you vulnerable. Once again, knowledge is power only if you apply it. Our key word for today is knowledge. Let's look at the word knowledge. K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E. -E. The first letter in the word knowledge is the letter K, knowing, which is the first principle of power. The letter N, new idea. The letter O, opportunities. The letter W, wisdom. The letter L, learn. Learn something new every day. The letter E, education. The letter D, determined. Determined to acquire knowledge. The letter G, gathering information. The letter E, empowerment. John Locke, the great philosopher said, the improvement of understanding is for two ends. First, our own increase of knowledge. Secondly, to enable us to deliver knowledge to others. You may ask the question, how do I acquire knowledge? Well, number one, ask questions. Number two, read. Number three, listen. Number four, be observant. Number five, pay close attention. Number six, use your own personal experiences. Number seven, go back to school. Number eight, browse the internet. And number nine, get a membership at the library. Once again, knowledge is power only if you apply it. For more information about this show, go to my website, www the Yolanda Simmons Moore Show. Thank you for watching today's show. Until the next time, do what you do, but be different by doing it in a powerful, positive, and unique way. Bye-bye.